Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed, and today we're going to be doing some Brazilian churrasco. And this is going to be my take on that Brazilian steakhouse garlic sirloin. I'm starting with a couple big sirloin steaks that I had my butcher cut extra thick. We're going to show you how we get it skewered up, get it rotating over some hot coals. Let's get to cooking. So I've got a big, this is almost three pound sirloin steak that I had my butcher cut. And you can see it's thick. It's probably working on two inches right there. It's the kind of cut you want to use for doing this style of steak. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut it into strips and you want a pretty good sized chunk. So I can get about three cuts on one of these. And if it has some fat on it, that's great. A lot of times those Brazilian steakhouse will leave that whole cap on. It gives it a lot of flavor and that fat tastes great on those hot coals. So I'm going to cut both of these steaks up into big chunks, but we're going to get it in some marinade. That's where my garlic sirloin comes in. Except just kind of eyeballing it. You don't have to get real specific on the size, but you just want a good chunk of sirloin to go on the skewer. So we've got our steak cut up into chunks. Now I want to get it in a bag. This is what we're going to marinate it in. It needs to go a couple hours in the marinade. Just get all those big hunks of sirloin in a bag. First thing we're going to do is hit it with a little bit of water. Then some vegetable oil. I've got a whole head of garlic I've chopped up. That's what's really gonna give it some of that garlic flavor. We're gonna get it all mixed around and happy. The last thing I'm gonna do is squeeze a whole lime in it. We're gonna squeeze most of the air out of this bag. And then we're just gonna work this marinade around. We wanna make sure garlic, lime, and oil get on every bit of those chunks of sirloin that we've cut up. Got it down in the marinade. We're gonna put that in the refrigerator. About two hours. You could go longer if you wanted to, but it needs at least about two hours for that marinade to work on it, to get some flavor into that meat. And while that sirloin's hanging out in the marinade, I'm gonna get a chimney of Royal Oak charcoal going here for our grill. I've got my Weber 22 inch grill set up with a rotisserie ring, and you can use any kind of rotisserie grill for this cook, but you really need something that's gonna have hot coals and be able to spin that meat. That's what makes that churrasco flavor. Now once those coals are good and hot, I'm just using two baskets on either side of the grill to separate that fire. Hey, if you don't have those, just pile it up on the sides. It'll work just the same. Get your lid on, let that grill temp start coming up. It's time to get that steak out of the marinade onto the skewer. Now to get these hunks of sirloin on the rotisserie rod, I'm just doubling them over and I'm leaving the fat cap exposed on the outside. I want that fat to render down and to char up over those hot coals. Just put as many pieces of the sirloin as you can on the rod and then we're gonna get a little bit of seasoning on it. Now for this churrasco style seasoning, all we're using is a coarse grain sea salt. It's real simple flavors, but it goes great over an open fire. Now all we have to do is get the rotisserie in the motor and get the lid closed. Those hot coals are going to do all the work while that meat's just sitting there spinning, getting real happy. All right, our garlic sirloin's been spinning for about 25 minutes. That's about all I want to go is I want to keep it more on the mid-rare to medium side. I don't want it, you know, overdone. So let's go ahead and get it off here. You want to make sure you wear some good gloves with this because this rod is hot. We're ready to go right to the table check out some of this Brazilian churrasco. All right, I pulled the spit off the fire and I've just been letting it sit here and hang out five, 10 minutes, but I can't wait really to try some of this garlic sirloin. So let's pull it all off. It's real juicy. No, it's still gonna be just tender as can be. Let's find one of these good pieces here in the center and cut into it, see what we're working with. Oh yeah. Still got it. You know, that's a little bit medium. That's what I want to see. It's got some pink to it. it looks great. But I want to try a piece. See how it is. Oh, man. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I wanted, that garlic flavor. I wanted it simple. I wanted that salt to come through, but I wanted the fire and the beef to shine. And that's what we got. I mean, this recipe was so easy. Real quick, just what we did, we took three pound sirloin. We cut it up into big chunks. I used two of those steaks. Put it in some marinade, a little olive oil, the water, lime juice, whole head of garlic crushed up. That's where this flavor is coming from. Only seasoned we used was a coarse grain sea salt right over those skewers after we got all the meat on the skewer. Got it on some fire, rotated it about 25 minutes. I wanted it about medium rare to medium. It's perfect. The great thing about doing meat this way is that there's different degrees of temperature. If some people like it well done, you can find that. You can leave it on a little bit longer. Hey, you've got to try this style of sirloin. It's got some really great flavor and I guarantee you're gonna love it. 
If you like what we're doing here at How to Barbecue Right, subscribe to our channel. It'll send you an email to let you know when we're coming out with new videos. You can also send us questions and comments to Facebook and Twitter. We love those. We'll see y'all next time.